cheese on your side. Better call bacon. Investigator Shannon Bacon is looking into why the Veterans Administration continues to send personal information about veterans to complete strangers. A Port Ritchie man received someone else's information. We're talking name, address, social security number, and it came right in his mailbox. And this is the third time that this man's received this kind of information. So he knew he'd better call Bacon again. Investigator Shannon Bank joining me now. This has been a while since you talked to him, but you've done this story before. With this guy. I have. This has it's been about a year and a half. But he contacted me back then with the exact same information, and back then the VA promised to investigate and fix this problem, which we found back then happening across the country. But clearly, VA representatives they're still being pretty sloppy. That's scary. For the third time, Randy Blackford opened a letter from the VA and found another man's most personal information tucked inside. Hard to believe. It makes you wonder what they're doing in Washington. This time, it's information for a man named Stephen who lives in Kentucky. There's an address, social security number, and a letter about the status of the man's medical claim. Not the kind of stuff you want in a stranger's hands. It's everything needed to steal someone's identity. They wonder why so many people can get somebody else's identity. I got everything right there. If I was a crook, I'd have it made. You may remember Blackford from 2015 when he contacted me with the same problem. I should not have to deal with this at all. That was right after a woman stepped forward when she received private medical test results that belonged to another veteran. And every time the vets recall the VA responding the same way. I call them, they laugh, oh, throw it away. Throw it away? No, they didn't. Are you concerned that this happened to the same man three times? I called the VA's regional spokesman, the same man I spoke to last year. So he received what Stephen was supposed to receive, and so it makes you wonder if Stephen ever received what he was supposed to receive because it went to Randy. Needless to say, the VA should not be telling veterans to throw away someone's information. As for Blackford, he's ready for this sloppiness to stop. Don't they look at it before they mail it out? The VA spokesman tells me that this is not acceptable and he is investigating. The VA also offers free credit monitoring to anyone affected by this situation. Well, what about the poor guy in Kentucky? Does he have any clue that this has happened, that his information is floating around? We're not else? sure. I actually tracked him down today because we do have his address oh, yeah. and everything. So we were able to track him down, track down his phone number. I called him, but I couldn't get it all out before he hung up on me three times. I tried to let him know. Ooh. Yeah. Send him a letter. Yeah, well, <laughs> I contacted the, the VA and let them know that they're the ones that really need to contact him and let him know and make sure he gets that free credit monitoring because he deserves it. Yeah, I'm like the guy. That, are they not even looking at who they're sending it to? Yeah. Like, all right, thanks, <laughs> Shannon. And a reminder that if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin, the telephone number, 1-855-BENKIN.